Watching Fox 49 News. With federal interest rates rising today, albeit at a smaller increase this time, Fox 49 is taking a look at how the local economy is holding up. Around the city, small businesses and startups are growing. Our Fox 49 Shania Tomlin spoke with a local business that's helping others get the start they need going into the new year. Shania? That's right, Lauren. I was able to take a look into this business and how they're helping small businesses around Springfield as we head into 2023. The beauty of our business is we deal with entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs survive. Signorama is a local business that creates logos, signage, and banners for many startups and entrepreneurs all around Springfield for over 25 years. We have hundreds of thousands of signs here in town. Restaurants come quite a bit. Boutiques are a thing that's pretty popular nowadays. Owner Zar Invest says their company has experienced tremendous growth over the past few years as more people bring business to the city. You know, so we're still uh, marketing and, and growing. We've, we've had growth last year. We're looking to have growth this year. Um, so we're going to keep expanding up. According to the U.S. Small Business Administration, small businesses created 12.9 million new jobs in just the last 25 years. At Sinorama, they get to see firsthand the effect they have on Springfield's economy. Really good for the economy, as we all know that money that's spent here gets spent in multiple ways. They reinvest into their own local environment. Vest says that having a business come and stay in Springfield not only helps their business, but the city's overall growth. Springfield's always been like a land of entrepreneurs, so we'd have to go with we're growing, so they're growing. Going into the new year, they expect to have even more development from local businesses. I would say that uh, the businesses are developing here. So maybe not coming here, they're coming from within here. By the way, the most popular year to start a new bit, the most popular month to start a new business is in January. So keep that in mind for next year. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.